Hello, YouTubers. This is Johnny. Welcome to my NASDAQ channel. Today, I'm gonna introduce how to create free tier Azure virtual machines. As we know, Azure provides a one-year free account to use. Um, it will provide in 750 hours Azure B1S general purpose virtual machine for Microsoft Windows. And also you can have one more Azure B1S general purpose virtual machine for Linux. So basically you can have two virtual machines. For each virtual machine, you can create um, one 64 gigabyte P6 SSD storage, plus one gigabyte snapshot and two million IO operation. So combined together, you can have 128 gigabytes for manager disk as a combination of two 64 gigabyte SSD storage. That was, that is confusing to me before, but I managed to get it working now. So let's start it, how you can create it, uh, vir free account virtual machines. Let's start with Windows. There are some tricks to creating those free tier virtual machines. For Windows, let's uh, go through the steps. Let's add a Windows machine first. Go through all steps here. We need to choose a resource group. I create a test one win one resource group. Put the, the virtual machine name. I will just put Windows one and they choose a region image by default those image you can see windows 2012 2016 2019 descent image if you choose those you will get 128 gigabyte hard drive which is not meeting the standard requirement here free tier requirements 264 gigabytes so you need to have 64 gigabyte ssd storage for your virtual machine how can we do that? I will show you here. Browse all public and private images. You need to choose low small disk, Windows Server 2012 R2 or any others. Windows Server 2012 R2 data center image is my favorite. I always choose this one for my Windows virtual machine. Change the size. Of course, you need to change it to B1S. That's a free tier requirement as well. Okay. Choose the password you have. You need to have public inbound port. That's okay. From our this purpose, we just need to go to the next disks. That's now you can choose the disk size. If you didn't choose those small disk size, you will get a different. 128 gigabyte and there is no option you can change it but now here you can see this recite 264 gigabytes p6 free account eligible perfect that's what we need for other things you can just next 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 go to the end and then create for them That's the Windows, how you can create in your Windows virtual machine meet the free tier requirement in a dual cloud. How about the Linux? Now we're gonna create another virtual machine, which is a Linux virtual machine. Um, choose your resource group. I will just put the Linux one. You can choose any region you like. Uh, sometimes I like to put into the Europe, North Europe to test them. You can use Ubuntu or CentOS, doesn't matter. I can use in the CentOS. In, for Linux, you don't have to change your image because usually it's good enough, small enough already. So change the size, of course, BYS, select. I also use my password.
Next, let's review the disk. So there's no option for you to change the OS disk, but by default, it's gonna create 32 gigabytes Linux disk for you. We're gonna decide it later once you create it. Okay, we just click review and create. Okay, now the deployment is on the way. We're gonna give it a couple of minutes and then come back to review those status or those system status. And then we need to resize Linux, Linux disk to the 64 gigabyte P6 to meet the free tier requirement. Okay, the deployment is completed. Now let's take a look. First thing is all resources. So we have one Windows virtual machine, one Linux virtual machine, and then we have a Linux one disk and a Windows one disk. Let's first take a look at the Windows one disk. It's 64 gigabyte premium SSD, perfect. For Linux, let's take a look now here. So it's only 30 gigabyte premium SSD. Again, it's smaller than 64 gigabyte, but it's still not as a dual free account requirement, 64 gigabyte, we can change that. First thing we need to stop the virtual machine, the Linux machine to resize the disk. Then we can go back to our all resources. It's still stopping. You may not able to configure it until it's, the virtual machine is fully stopped. Usually we go to configuration here to make the changes. You can change once the virtual machine has been stopped, you can change from 30 to 64. You can check the notification here. It's saying executing stop command on one selected items. So it's still stopping. Perfectly, it has been stopped. Let's go back to this configuration. Now you can see we are using premium SSD, but here the size is 30. We can change it to 64, save it. Now you see IOPS limit has changed as well. So it's giving you better throughput and better IO as well once you change the size. You can go back to our virtual machine and start the Linux one. So that's all steps you have to follow to make sure your virtual machine meet the Azure free account requirement. If you have any question, please let me know. If you like the video, please give me a thumb up.